questions about putting text over video and seeing the video through the text coming up now. These questions seem to come in these category buckets and the latest one is how do I take moving video, put text over it and see through the text, see the video behind it. It's really not hard and it has to do with what they call mats. I don't want to get all the lingo, I just want to show you how to do it in Premiere Pro, HitFilm, and Sony Vegas. You should be able to watch this and do it in any other editor. Let's go do it. Here we are in Premiere Pro. You'll notice this layout is the standard layout. I have my own workspace. It's just simpler where I keep my media and stuff, where I view things, my timeline. Anyway, let's add in some footage and drag it down to the timeline. This footage here is just a flyover of some, I think it's a Swiss Alps, I'm not quite sure. So, Alt drag and create a copy of the lower part of the footage. You're just basically duplicating it. Right about there, I'm gonna take the lower footage and move it over to there. Now the text tool, just click on text, click, and we're gonna call this, hmm, let's call it high snow. Go to the effects controls. I definitely wanna use a different font than this Minion Pro. What should I use? Um, it's B something. B, yeah, let's use this, Beebus. That's a nice thicker font. Center it. Then let's uh, let's blow this thing up here. Just make it real big because that's what we're going to see through. Now let's adjust a few things here. Oh, let's get this thing right in the middle. That looks okay. And I could certainly, you know, mess around with the up and down. I could mess around with the font and the spacing and all that. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to bold it and a little space in there. Let's get it centered. Maybe I can, I don't know, let's, uh, yeah, let's move it up. Put the letters a little closer, not too close. That'll work. All right, let's make the font a bit bigger. There we go. And let's, uh, in here you just hit, click the mouse and then you can also move it this way. So now we got our high snow text on there. Let's move the text down to the beginning. Now you go to effects and what we're looking for is what's called track mat key. Just type in mat, there it is. And you're gonna apply this to the second one down. And what that does is it says, I wanna take video three, boom and I want to mat it. I just want to see the video behind the text. Right there, it stops. We want to do some sort of transition here. Let's, uh, let's keep it simple. You could do so many things here. Let's just use a simple cross dissolve, put it to the bottom. And now when it plays, it's just going to fade out into our uh, thing. Make the dissolve a little longer. Yeah, that looks pretty good and then it plays out. Let's see what we got here. Comes up to the peak, fades out and reveals the rest of the scene. Okay, that works. Here we are on another popular editor, HitFilm. There's a free version, I'm using Pro. You want to click on New Okay, we got 1080 at 29. I know the footage is that, so that's fine. All these other settings are fine. Now, you can edit in here, but with HitFilm, to be able to add text and do things, you want to composite. So click on the Start Compositing button. Okay, here we are in HitFilm. The uh, first thing we want to do is turn off this checkerboard thing. We want to see a black background. And there we go. Now we're gonna add our mountain footage again. There it is. And we're just gonna drag it over to the compositing timeline. 
and there it is. Of course, it goes along. Let's play it. I want it to appear right about there where the peak comes by. Yeah, right about there. Okay. Now click on it and what you want to do is uh, control D and duplicate the layer. We're doing pretty much the same thing we did in Premiere Pro. Right about there we're going to reveal the text and move it over to where our reveal occurs. Click on the top. Now in here what we want to do is add text. Just click on text, click on the screen, and it asks you the size. Let's just keep it to 1920 by 1080 because we got big text. And um, click OK. And now we have this big text box here. Let's click on the mouse and let's move this thing over to where it's, there we go. I want that right there. Click on the text and we're going to type in our text, which is going to be Hi, Snow, again. Go down here, there's a text thing, there it is. Let's make sure we select all our text. Let's go find our same font. It was, uh, yes, uh, no, that wasn't it, Balthazar. It was Beebus. Okay, we got Beebus on there. Let's make sure it's centered. And then uh, let's blow this thing up. Let's scrub up and make it nice and big like our other one. That's too big. Right about there. We could mess around with all the different spacing and the way things look and everything else, but we're pretty much done there. Let's click it to accept it. Now the way this works is we're going to go just like Premiere. We're going to grab the second one. And we're going to search for an effect. In this case, they call it set matte layer only. And we drop it in there. There we go. Um, now it has that effect on there. We twir twirl down set matte and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say we want new text. There we go. Now you notice nothing happened. What you need to do is you need to turn off the text. There you go. Because it, it, it needs to mat it. Right there. It goes along. And that's kind of where we want uh, want to bleed that thing in. Now, unlike Premiere, again, we're in a compositing thing. We need to, um, we can't add transitions in here because we're compositing. It's a bit different. So the thing we want to do is we want to twirl down the opacity. And what we're going to do is right here on this one, we're going to set a keyframe. It's at 100%. And we'll scrub down right about, eh, right about there. And then let's set the opacity to zero. Nothing happened yet. That's because we need to go down to the one that is going to appear. Twirl down transform. And let's set the opacity. We want that at 100%. When the other one goes to zero, I click here and say find my other keyframe. Then I go down to the opacity and I say this one I want to be zero. So this one's going from, there we go. The mat is disappearing and the second one is appearing. So let's see what we got here. This thing's chunking up a little bit. Hits this and away it goes. And we've just done basically the same thing in HitFilm. Here we are in Vegas, a bit different, although it's an editor. Let's go input our footage. There it is, same footage. We have it in there. And then let's drag it to our timeline at the beginning mark. Sure. Adjust the video, that's good. Now we're going to make a copy. Easiest way is just drag another one in. And again, we're going to go along and we're going to find where our peak comes along. Right about there is where we're going to reveal, uh, make the text go away and reveal it. Let's insert a video track. And now we're going to insert some text into this video track. So we go up to the insert menu 
and we select text. What we're doing is we're creating text to media. Not too happy with, uh, with their text editor, but that's okay. And we're going to type in, hi, snow. Let's move this thing a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to search for our Beebus font. B, oh, that looks <laughs> pretty weird. Where is it? There it is. There's our Beebus font. And here we're just going to scale it up um, until it kind of fills the screen. That's a bit too much. Good. We definitely need it uh, centered and we definitely want it bolded. Okay, now we have our settings and everything and we, we can go back and tailor these later. But for now we have our text that's going to see through. Now, interestingly enough, in Vegas, the way you, you can use, you can use a set mat function. Let me show you here. If you go over here, there is a Vegas mass generator. You can do that. It's a little bit more complicated. It's a lot easier if you use one of their transport modes. You click on this, you look in compositing mode, you see here, multiply mask and you click that and what happens is it does that work for you. Now we have the same thing. We have our text in there. Let's drag this and make this bigger. And uh, we scroll along and the text comes along and there's our peak. Right about there is where we want to do our uh, transition. Right about there. Now let's drag this to the beginning. And in Vegas, here's a trick. We're going to do is we're going to drag this track to the top. We're simply going to drag this little handle and then we're going to fade in the top layer. What that effectively does is it says, okay, the other layer that you see through, once we hit that, we're going to fade in the top layer and just nuke the other layers below it. And we basically get the exact same effect that we did in the others. Certainly you can adjust the text and do all the other things that you want to do in here. I just wanted to show you how to do it as a starting point. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro because I want to show you something, uh, a few more things that we could do, and these apply to any of the uh, editors I've already covered. Here we are in Premiere Pro again. I wanted to show you a few other things we could do. For instance, like uh, there's not a lot of contrast in the background image. Um, if you look over here, um, it'd be cool to make it a little darker. The first thing I want to do is why don't we add some music to this thing? I got this little clip from uh, Premium Beat. Probably going to edit a little bit. It's short. And uh, let's just, that's what it looks like. Let's turn off these other things just so we can play and listen to what we got here as far as this, uh, as far as this piece. Pretty piano pace. Um, I put a marker here. I this is where it starts. Bing, right there. I think that's where I want to have the video appear, and uh, the rest is just intro. Let's save that. Let's turn things back on here. Let's drag our uh, our creation here, and let's have it start right on the uh, piano note. Yeah. All right, so let's do a little cutting here. Right about there, I'm gonna take that piano hit, maybe right about there, cut that. I'm gonna go to that end note. And just chop that middle out, because I wanna end on that. Let's see what we got here. All right, and then we'll just jump to black. Let's grab where 
right there and we're just going to cut the black exactly let's send the in and out points here now um, I was talking about take a look at this let's collapse this track here and uh, let's 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 just give ourselves some room I want to show you something here I was talking about maybe uh, making this look a bit better it's a bit bright um, so here's what we're going to do let's add a uh, create an adjustment later 1920 by 1080 let's drag it down to the timeline and let's span it across our entire video now an adjustment layer let's turn these off an adjustment layer is nothing it, it really is a, a nothing track anything you put on that applies to every single video track below it turn these back on so if you understand that let's just uh let's do some fast color correcting here of course we'll use the fast color corrector even says it's obsolete i don't care i just want to do a few things here let's uh let's crush these uh let's crush these blacks a little bit probably about 20 and then let's move the uh, mid down oh yeah see now we got a nice blue up here and uh yeah that looks a lot better can't say the footage is great that looks better in the middle and over here it looks a lot richer and contrasty off on off on that's pretty nice now let's see what we got pretty nice as you can see it doesn't take long to uh to create something like this i did want to show you that it's quite easy to be able to do effects like this in uh the different editors as far as the uh <laughs> other editors you use i don't have final cut pro and i really didn't want to go through that but you can easily apply this to any other editor you uh own if it has any guts to it and uh yeah I hope you like that. As I said, you should be able to apply this to any other type of uh, editor that you happen to be using if you need to do that thing. And you should take what you've just learned and add different transitions and effects and cool things and sparkly things and whatever you want to do. Um, be creative with it. It's to learn and now you know how to do it. That's your launching pad. Go create something awesome. Uh, if it's really cool, why don't you send me a link? I'd love to see it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, you know what I really want to do? I haven't quite figured this out. Like, I'm sitting here doing a video, right? And then what I want to do is say I'm going to do something, and then I put my hands on the keyboard, and the camera swirls around and over my shoulder and dives into the keyboard screen. I really want to do that, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. When I do, it's going to be cool.